Hi, Kim and I. Welcome back to my channel, Karma Thoughts. I am doing your weekly reading for January 10th through the 16th of 2021. I hope you're all doing well. I do want to take a second here to remind everyone that this is a general reading and therefore may not resonate with everyone out there. Um, if you would like a personal reading, the directions are in the box beneath this video. I'll be happy to help you. Simply email me. And also, I hope you've subscribed to the channel. It throws your energy in with the rest of us and it will make it a little easier for me to pick up on your story. Remember, if this is resonating with you, um, the roles can flip-flop or reverse and um, it some parts may resonate with you and some parts may not. Take what is yours and leave the rest for someone else. Don't try to make it fit you if it is not your story. All right, so what we're going to do here, uh, Gemini, we're going to pull your energy. We'll get the energy of the person you're connecting with, whether you're in communication with them or not. And then we're going to get the energy of the connection itself. Um, we'll also get the outcome for the end of the week. And in addition to that, we're going to pull a few lovers oracles at the end to see if there's any further clarification or information. So let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Gemini, please? Gemini. Okay. All right, Gemini, you start out with the tower. Interesting. You have the magician along with the six of wands. And then you have the eight of wands in the reverse along with the king of cups in the reverse. Wow, very interesting energy here. Okay, so with the Magician and the Six of Wands, I feel as if there's something here that you have manifested, Gemini, that seems to be out of the blue for everyone else. Um, it's something that you were attempting to create or bring into being, but for everyone else that's around you, I almost feel like they're kind of like, you know, some people are cheering you on, but there are others that are looking at you more your peers. Um, that are looking at you as if, like, how the heck did he do that or she do that? Um, I don't know what it is, but you have absolutely manifested something that it seems to be impossible to some people and to others, they're just really cheering you on. Now, that being said, I do see that there is something of a tower moment that has occurred. Now, the tower moment, Gemini, comes in and it is completely beyond your... Um, ability to control. Generally, a tower moment is sent by spirit, and it is when um, there may be, you know, things that, like signs that have been sent by spirit, um, trying to get you or someone that you're involved with to make a course correction, um, and perhaps the signs were not um, listened to, or circumstances did not um, move in that direction, but in either case, the um the basically what happens is spirit throws in a tower moment and the tower moment causes a faulty foundation to crumble to the ground in order for things to be built back on a stable foundation this is not always terrible news sometimes you can have a tower moment that is um really good so you know it, it may not be terrible news now, in the um, final two cards of your energy, though, we do see the King of Cups in reverse, and we see the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So this tells me that you may be feeling as if your heart is a little bit shut off here. Um, it would have to do with overwhelming emotion, um, most likely in connection to this Tower moment. And I feel as if um, something within the area of love and emotion has kind of been blocked. There's a blockage here with regard to emotion. I do feel like it is in connection to this tower moment. But that being said, there's something here that you're manifesting um, that is like people are in awe of it. So let's see the energy of the person you're connecting with. Alright, so the person you're connecting with, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Chariot in reverse, we have the High Priestess in reverse, along with the Hermit in reverse. Wow, 
Um, <laughs> that's almost a couple there, the high priestess and the hermit together, and both in reverse. Um, so <laughs> that's some strong energy as well. So, um, I do feel like, again, we see this blockage with the chariot in reverse, and we have the Knight of Cups. So, I feel like the person that you are connecting with here, Gemini, they do have emotion for you. I also feel like they're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. If you look at this card in this particular deck, you can see that um, the Knight on his horse is wading through um, deep waters here. So in this particular deck, um, they're wading through deep waters. Water in the tarot is usually depicted um, as emotion. And notice that the knight isn't in possession of the cup. The cup is sitting here floating on the water. The knight is not in possession of the cup, which tells me as well that the, um, the knight is searching. He's looking. See the, the staff he's carrying? And it's, it's lit up. He's in the dark. He's in the dark. He's not in possession of that cup of love. He is searching for it. And he is overwhelmed in deep water. So I feel as if the person that you are connecting with here, Gemini, they may feel a little bit overwhelmed emotionally. They may feel a little bit confused um, with regard to you know, their feelings towards you. And I feel as a result, they are not moving forward with the chariot in reverse. They're kind of feeling a little bit stuck here. Now, I find it very interesting that they have the high priestess and the hermit in reverse. So I feel like um, this person may have initially pulled back, but I feel like if they have, it was because they were trying to balance themselves for one and also to try to understand what's going on with themselves emotionally. And so they kind of receded within to use their intuition and to try to find answers um, within themselves, which is not a bad thing to do. But that being said, I feel like they are coming out of that energy at this time. Okay. Um, and I do feel like they have they have come up with some some answers. They've come up with some... some uh, some idea of what's going on with them. We see a transition from from the darkness into, you know, using their intuition to find these answers. So let's look at the energy of the connection. Yeah, justice. We have the, the justice card. Okay. So that's Libra energy. Um, but it's a sense of wanting to do the right thing. And that's shared energy between the two of you. Again, balance. Trying to find balance in the situation. Um, wanting things to be done correctly. Wanting um, each party wanting the other to approach correctly and to come in the right way. Um, and in a balanced way. What is affecting this connection? What is affecting this connection? Strength. Yeah. We see balance in this card as well. So if you look um, above the dragon, you see um, the blue, you see, so here we see the the fire and ice. So we see a melding of the two. So again, we're looking at balance again. So a lot of, a lot of issues of balance within this, um, you know, having the strength to kind of tame what's within and, you know, seeking that balance, I see that strongly in both parties. It's as if something here is very tumultuous um, within this connection, Gemini. So the challenge to this connection here is to approach in the correct way and to, to have a balanced approach. What is the outcome at the end of the week? What is the outcome at the end of the week? Oh, the Ten of Cups. How about that? So at the end of the week, we're looking at um, some deep emotional fulfillment. Interesting. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So this is the underlying energy, very strong um, air energy here. So I would say um, you may very well be dealing with another air sign. You don't have to be. But the energy that's underlying this would be one that is a little bit unsettling. Um, I, there's an air of almost anger 
um, but definitely somewhat of a coldness as well. A need to have um, that balance applied. I'm seeing a lack of balance and, and both sides trying to create that balance. Um, in the reverse though, I do think that the Queen of Swords can come off as not only cold, but angry. So there might be some anger in this connection. And that may be where we're coming up with this uh, tower as well. So let's let's go ahead now and start clarifying. Spirit, why is the tower card here for Gemini? All right, so we have the lovers. And we have the ten of swords. Okay. So the tower moment may have come about, Gemini, through a, a decision that was made. And it could have been between two people. Um, where you felt very betrayed with the Ten of Swords. And that may have caused a tower moment for you. This may also be a soulmate that you're dealing with as well. Um, Gemini, that is your card, the lovers. Um, so I can definitely tell that you have felt betrayed. That is what caused this tower moment. But I feel like it came about because of a, a decision, a, a very important decision and possibly between two people. Here, can I have three cards for the next energy? One more, please. One more. Okay. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so... It looks like you manifested um, a victory here. Yeah, there was conflict and you came out victorious in this conflict. And you know what, Gemini? I feel like whatever this conflict was, there was some sneakiness involved in it um, because the conflict is the Five of Swords. And with the Five of Swords, I feel like um, sometimes has to do with some kind of deception, something that was a little bit sneaky. It wasn't all on the up and up. And you managed to manifest a, a victory in this connection, in this, this conflict. And I think that people were amazed. They, they were surprised. Um, and it, it may have had to do with a loss of money for some of you, because we have the Ace of Pentacles. If it wasn't a loss of money, it, it did have to do with a loss of stability. But following right on the heels of whatever this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So that's a very slow um, offer of stability coming forward. So something ended. Something ended here. There was a lot of conflict. There was deception within the conflict. And somehow you came out victorious in this in this situation and it's because you manifested it and in that manifestation you also wound up getting an, a very tangible offer and if you haven't you you're going to and you know you're going to but it's going to come about very slowly and this was after after feeling betrayed so you've come out of this tower moment victorious in some manner there was deception here, but you got you got justice for it. All right, so Spirit, can I have three cards for the bottom energy? Okay, four. All right, so we have the four of cups in the reverse. We have the hangman in reverse. Ten of wands. And the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Okay. So, I'm also seeing that with the Eight of Wands in reverse, I, I feel like somehow you were breadcrumbed or somebody wasn't recognizing, you know, this connection. And I think you kind of, you looked at this and you started looking at it with a new perception. Or, or maybe you weren't recognizing this connection um but either way gemini you began to look at this with a with different eyes you got a different um a different idea about this connection and i do think that you value this connection um and i also think that if it's not you valuing it it's the other person 
So that is going to change the dynamics here. Um, in addition to that, if the other person was not valuing this connection, that is what caused you to kind of shut down. It, it blocked your heart. And I do think that that caused you to kind of, um, it caused you to feel very burdened, to feel as if you, you were carrying the weight of the world. But I think that you're going to let that go. Um, at one point, I think you felt almost imprisoned by that. You, you, you may have even had some self-sabotaging behaviors around that, but I don't think you're going to be doing that anymore. So I can see that you've kind of blocked your heart off a little bit here. But you're looking at this connection differently now. I do think that you value the connection, but it's it's a little burdensome to you. And I don't think that you want to, you know, I don't think you want to be bound by that. So you're looking at things differently. And that's changing the dynamics. I do see... I do see you either bringing forward an offer or I see someone bringing an offer towards you, but it's after this betrayal and it's going to bring in victory and you've manifested it, Gemini. You've manifested it um, by looking at things differently. Be careful though, because I do see a little bit of a blockage of your emotions, blockage of your heart. Let's look at the person you're dealing with here. Um, they have the Knight of Cups. Let's let's look at that. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Okay, so they have the Queen of Swords in reverse again. So this anger that you're seeing, I think, is on their side. Now you may have some too, but they're they're feeling angry as well. And they also have judgment. So they want to have a reconciliation with you. That's why they're feeling lost and overwhelmed. Okay. Yeah, so they're feeling lost and overwhelmed. They want to have a reconciliation with you. And I maybe you're not letting them back through the door right now. Um, and if that's the case, Gemini, I feel as if um, they might be angry about that. They, they definitely want a reconciliation. They're feeling lost. They're feeling, um, you know, they're feeling overwhelmed with emotion. Um, why is the chariot in reverse here? Um, let's see. One more. All right, so we have the nine of cups in reverse. We have the seven of coins. And we have the empress in reverse. Okay, so things are not moving forward. They're waiting. They're waiting right now. They're not happy about waiting um, because it's they feel unfulfilled right now and they feel like you're not appreciating them. They feel like things are not growing and moving in the way that they could. They do see potential in the, in the connection, the relationship, uh, and so they're waiting. Um, but they realize right now it's not moving forward. They're waiting for it to, to pick back up. They're, they're, they're waiting for you, Gemini, um, but they're not happy about it. They're not happy about it at all. Can I have three cards for the bottom energy? One more, please. One more card, please. Okay. All right, so we have the Fool, we have Strength, and we have the Page of Cups. So what is it that they are um, have come up with after they kind of went within? Um, well, they've come up with the fact that they need to have the strength and courage to, you know, take this leap of faith and offer this love to you or to accept the love from you. Um, they also may be um, wanting to give you an apology as well. Sometimes a page of cups can be an apology, but they know that they love you. And they're not happy about things not moving forward right now. In fact, they're a little bit angry and they feel kind of overwhelmed and, and lost in their emotions. Um, they have really gone within. So this tower moment that happened affected both of you, Gemini. For you, I just see that you manifested a victory in this and it was manifested because you pulled back and got a different perspective on this. I think you felt breadcrumbed and you recognized it and I think it kind of, you shut things down. 
you kind of blocked your emotions from this person and you just said, you know what, this is burdensome to me, it's a problem, and I'm not going to worry about this anymore. You just pulled back. Now this person's angry, and they want to they want to get back with you. They're not happy to be separated. They're not happy that this is not, you know, this isn't moving forward. And so it forced them to go within, and they're recognizing that they're going to have to have the courage and strength to to approach you and to come out and and, you know, either apologize or offer this love to you. They may be feeling a little foolish about past behavior as well. Um, why is justice here? Why is justice here? Gemini, I feel like you felt betrayed in the past. And so I don't know what happened there, but it, it, that's what caused the, the tower moment. All right. So we have the nine of wands and we have the six of cups. Yeah, so they're looking back. They're having fond memories of you. They do want to do the right thing. Um, and I think that you just want justice in the situation, Gemini. I feel like you you feel like you've put a lot behind you. You've overcome a lot. Um, you're still hanging in there. I don't think you're done with this person. Um, but you do want them to, to approach you correctly for sure. And for the person you're dealing with, I think that they just are really kind of reminiscing. They're looking back and um, they they know that um, they have to approach correctly. Why is the strength card here? Yeah, they have strength in their energy as well. So I feel like this card um, that's affecting it is um, linking back to them primarily. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands in reverse, and then we have the Seven of Swords. So they're going to have to have the strength not to avoid. They're going to have to have the strength and courage to come forward, stop avoiding the situation, offer an apology if necessary, um, and, or, or to offer, you know, that cup of love, to offer their emotion um, to you. And for you, I think, um, Gemini, you're going to have to have the strength and courage to, to make a decision here, to choose this direction or to choose a new direction. So both of you are going to have to have that strength and courage and to balance, you know, your emotions out to do that. Now, at the end of the week, we have the Ten of Cups, which is emotional fulfillment. Um, can I get three cards for the outcome? So in the outcome, we do have emotional fulfillment. It looks like there's going to be options. Um, so I think, Gemini, you're going to keep your options open. I think that um, because you have, well, you both have the Seven of Cups, um, which is options, and I, you have the Nine of Cups, which is you being um, single and abundant all on your own. And so you're going to keep your options open at the end of the week. I don't think you're going to jump back into anything with this person. Um, I think you're going to keep your options open. I think that you're looking at them as, as one of the options, but I don't think you're jumping back into anything. And they are going to be working hard manifesting. Um, and I think they'll be manifesting you. I think they're not confused about, you know, what they need to be doing here. Um, everything in their energy speaks to the fact that they've kind of, um, they they really want to, to move this back. They're not happy with the way things are at the present moment. Um, so, yeah, they're going to be manifesting and you're kind of going to be looking at your options. Bottom of the deck, we do have the sun card in reverse, which indicates to me that, you know, there's a little bit of a blockage here right now. And I think that that's, uh, that might be you blocking things. And you have your reasons. Um, I think that you still are a little bit closed off. So let's go ahead, Gemini, and get some of the Lover's Oracles for you guys and see what comes out there. That's turned over. One more. Okay. All right. So let's see what we have. For you, Gemini, it says, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. 
Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Okay. Your person has new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. That's what this person is definitely wanting. They want a new beginning with you, and that's obvious from their cards, especially with the judgment card here. Now, for the connection, um, it says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. And I would say that that is probably for both you, Gemini, and for the cross watcher. So, even though you may not be together, and I don't see that by the end of the week this is going to be worked out, doesn't mean it's not going to be worked out at all, but I do think that um, regardless of the circumstances, you need to, each of you, be able to feel the joy within yourselves because it takes um, two complete people to come together. Um, you don't want to get into that pattern of codependency, each person trying to fulfill the other. So... You know, Gemini, I think you're on the right track here. It looks like that's what you are doing. You're kind of working on yourself here and being your own independent self. Um, so it looks like a good reading for you. I hope that you guys have already subscribed. If you haven't, please do so. Go ahead and hit that like button. Drop me a comment. I do read all of your comments. And until I see you next time, Gemini, namaste.